Welcome to today's video, guys. We are back at the shop for some shenanigans. Obviously, Mei Chan Waifu is here. She's got a few days off work, so we're having fun. But what is the one thing we're not doing today, Mei? The one thing. What are we not doing? Tell me. We're not looking at the skyline. Oh. We are we, we're going to pretend that's not there because it makes me depressed and upset. And she's even wearing a shirt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Turn around again. That shirt looks so good. We need to bring that back when we bring this thing back to life. Uh, but, but yeah, we're just going to ignore this. Uh, S15 is nearly done. Once the S15 is done, we can get onto the skyline and bring this girl back. But for now, we're going to be working on the K-Van today, aren't we, May? We're gonna, do, we're gonna do a fair few mods today. One that I'm super excited about. First thing is I wanna install a catch can just cause these things uh, do dump a lot of oil in the intake system, especially uh, um, when you're boosting it as much as I am. And then the other thing is you may see on the ground here, we've got an LED underglow kit lined out here with a lot of cable. So we're gonna be installing this today. We're not gonna be putting this to the cigarette lighter though. That's lame, we're gonna wire it in properly. But this is an RGB. Yes, Linus would be proud, wouldn't he? <laughs> You're turning everything to RGB. Our office is RGB now. The lights is RGB now. It makes it faster. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's like when you paint your brake calipers red, your car gains 20 horsepower. If you add RGB, that's an extra 100. Terrible jokes aside, let's get this van jacked up and start figuring out what I'm doing and how we're mounting the LED strips and get everything sorted so that we can enjoy this tonight. Go to Daikoku and see what it looks like with this new underglow kit. So the catch can I'm using, some of you OGs might remember, but this used to be the little catch can that was in the Skyline. Um, it has two ins and one out. And with the KTR, if you have a look here, is really we just want to intercept this one pipe here that goes to the pod filter. Um, so the catch can is going to go, well this is going to go into the catch can and then the catch can breather will go into that. So that way all the oil will get caught in this instead of going through our system. So I do need to block off one of these, but we got one of these lovely silicon guys here that clogs that off. And we don't need to put a hose clamp or anything like that on this because this isn't boosted. And then, um, my little MacGyver hose clamp bracket thing that I've made here to make it work. This will mean that it'll bolt to something and won't fly around, but it's pretty tight. It's actually pretty common that a lot of aftermarket places in Japan will use a hose clamp method for like, you know, relocating your power steering reservoir and stuff like that. So it's a very kind of, I guess, industry standard thing. 10 mil bolt straight into the base here. Finished installing the oil catch can that's in there now. I did have to rotate the intake pipe a bit just so that we had a, a cleaner run for this hose so it wasn't gonna kink, but everything's all hooked up there. Um, and like I said, it seems like just with these engines and the way the baffles are set up and, and how the engine vents, that a lot of oil does get past the internal baffles. Um, so it's pretty common that anyone that modifies these engines and the cappuccinos as well, is that you need an oil catch can to prevent that going into like the intercooler and stuff like that. I first picked up on it and did research on it because the blow off valve, a little bit of oil residue was coming out of where the air does and uh, I guess uh, that explained why. So that's all done now. We shouldn't have any more problems with that and I just have to make sure I check and drain it and say every time I do an oil change on this thing to make sure we're all good. But otherwise, let's start this thing up. I don't think it's going to sound any different but I mean everybody loves hearing some turbo noises, right? <laughs> Never gets old. Initially, I wanted to put this uh, LED kit on something like uh, my Skyline or um, like the S15, but I actually really don't like these particular type of kits um, just because all the wires come like pre-attached like this, right? Makes it a nightmare for trying to run cables like properly and nice. Now, luckily it's the K car and it's a van so it's super easy to run wires and I can like feed these everywhere, but it still isn't like how I would like it. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so it's gonna drive me insane if I like had this kind of kit on my S15. Like if, if when we do underglow on like my S15, I'm gonna have to like get a proper kit. So if any of you guys actually wanna take this opportunity, if any of you guys know of anyone that sells like a really good kit that isn't like pre like wired like this and terrible, please let me know and like I want a full proper kit like one that has proper control and all that kind of stuff I don't mind paying a lot of money for it either because 
I want it to be really good, especially on the S15 and Future Skyline and stuff like that. I'm not sure about the Evo. Should we put Underglow on the Evo? I think we should put Underglow on everything, eh? <laughs> it just looks so good. How about those like big headlamp stuff on the front? What do you mean big headlamps on the front? You mean like fog lamps? Yeah, fog lamps. Yeah. Um, no, it's Where? not gonna be a rally car. It's gonna be a time attack car. Rally cars are the ones that put the big, uh, the big spotlights on the front. Mm -hmm. Or so in Australia, if you're going bush bashing and you got a big bull bar, you gotta put uh, big lights on. <laughs> the only problem with that in Australia is if you have the big lights on, sometimes it blinds the kangaroos in the middle of the road, and then they get drawn to it. And what jump really? They yeah, jump so towards it, you. It like blinds them, so they're like confused, and then they just jump towards you. Oh wow. Yeah. That's, That's why you have the big bull bars, so they bounce off you. But a big kangaroo can like break everything. Everything, yeah. Them. Yeah, they're huge. So I'm going around a double-sided taping like all the strips on. Um, and obviously before we stick this on, I'm prepping the surface with some like parts cleaner and isoprol alcohol and then the shop rags. And then all the wiring and stuff is getting zip tied where I can get another like couple zip ties on these two. I am just in case like the double-sided tape fails and falls off. We don't want these dragging on the highway. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty much trying to do the neatest job I can without it being too neat because everything's connected like this and it's just really hard to run wires nice like that. Anyways, I'm gonna get to this. I've already done both sides. I gotta do front and rear now and then I'll be able to kind of like wire it all up and get 12 volts to it and then we should be able to see what it looks like. Pretty excited about this. Hmm. The band also needs a wash, but we'll do that tomorrow probably. <laughs> For now, it looks okay. So I finished mounting all the lights under the car and all the wiring has been run. Now, I don't want to use a cigarette lighter port. Um, I definitely want to put this switch in the dash with like a proper relay and stuff like that. But for the life of me, I can't find the relay that I had that I was planning to use. So for now, we're going to use a cigarette lighter port until I can wire it in properly, which we'll just do another time. Um, but we can turn this on now and you can see that it's got underglow. And hang on a moment, turn the bright lights off. Nice. So right now it's just like cycling through all the different colors. There's a QR code on the controller, so we can install the app and be able to control it via Bluetooth. But uh, it's got underglow now, so we're gonna get the car off the jack stands. I'm gonna pack everything up. We're gonna go for a drive and see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy. It's got the cool sounds, and now it looks cool. And ambulances. The ambulances. Yeah. <laughs> so I brought the K-Van out here to see what it's gonna look like. Plug it in, May. It's pretty good. I'm yet to install the app to see if we have like brightness control or anything like that. But honestly, for this thing, it's, it's pretty good. And like driving around Daikoku, it's gonna look pretty epic, I think. I just can't wait to stop it so it's not like quick changing like that. That's kind of annoying. Anyways, I'm gonna close up the shop and then we're gonna go for a cruise. So we had a quick look on Twitter and it seems like the police haven't shut down Daikoku yet, even though it's a little bit later than usual. So we're gonna try and cruise into there and uh, get some nice shots of the new underglow on the car. It'll be cool if we can team up with some other K cars if they got underglow. But uh, I'm just excited to go to Daikoku. I love that place. The car culture there is so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, there's a lot of sick Atasha cars here tonight. I'm hyped. Dude, I can't believe the police haven't shut this down yet. New days yeah. to be here. Oh, For a fun. Sunday night? That's pretty rare. Friday nights are usually the only nights that don't get shut down. I mean, this could only be running for like another 10 more minutes and then the police might close it, but we'll see. There's also a lot of trucks here today, so that could be why the police can't close it because of business really reasons. It's cool. It's pretty packed. Yeah. I'd say this is quiet compared to a Friday night Friday for sure. Friday night, but yeah. It's definitely. Oh, uh, nice. Holy moly, man. Look at all the RX-7s lined up. Brap, brap, party. Brap, brap, party. <laughs> all right, well, we're going to pull over and find a park do some shoots and then we'll probably oh uh, my gosh this is so nice all right yeah but right. i want to this like, one's my favorite lay one. in front of it you want to lay in front of it yeah. okay they've literally got like a little yakiniku thing going <laughs> barbecue right, let's find a park are you here yeah we're we'll pulling here for now this is our spot always so here's what the k-van looks like at daikoku it's pretty bright here obviously with all the lights and stuff and it's still got a pretty decent amount of underglow under the car. Obviously different lights, like like different colors and stuff that you use depend and like kind of make it brighter. Uh, the pink's kind of a bit dull, but like if I go to like a, a blue and stuff like that, I think it looks a bit brighter. 
The app's a little bit weird. It's it's kind of weird, but I mean, it does the job. For a cheap kit, I think it's pretty good. Mm. It's not too bad. Like, especially if you go with that color, that looks way brighter, you know? I like it. But we like the pink here, so we'll stick to that. It looks purple on camera. It looks totally different. But anyways, we're going to walk around and check out some of the cool cars now. Ooh, that is a nice 33. But let's go have a look at all these FDs. SA22C. Love that front bumper on that thing. Looks like epic. Got this. Full on line here of RX-7 FDs. Looks so good. Wow. These two at the end here are incredible. Yeah, I'll buy it anyway. Yeah. Just all like the canards and the carbon fiber diffusers and stuff just look incredible. I would hate to clip something and rip those off. Looks like a lot of money on there. These front lights look cool too. Oh, that is beautiful. So clean. I mean, RX-7s really do look cool. There's not much you can do to them to make them look bad. Wow. Hey, look, it's a cookie. <laughs> Shut up, it's cookie. <laughs> Clean 32 GTR. Nice. Good wheel choice too. All right, we all know I wanted to come check out the Tasha cars. Did this look so sick on the side of the 350Z, right? Right, May? 350Z Atasha? Even my mum messaged me and said I need to Atasha the 350Z. Really? What yeah. are we going to Atasha it to? What are we going to Atasha it? I don't know. We'll put some anime really? girl on it. Looks so good. This one's cool. See how it's like that opacity one? Yeah, opacity one. See through. Looks epic. That brown color? Yeah. That's pretty unique for an infinity, well, infinity skyline, whatever you want to call it. The wheel choice is nice on those too. Slammed and bagged though. All right, let's get up here. There's some more Itasha cars to check out. We're looking at these for inspiration for the 350Z. Oh man, this looks awesome. JZX100 Chaser. That is cool. I dig that. I dig that a lot. Mate, how cool does this Chaser look? Well, the bonnet. Yeah, there's a lot of work on this. That's really, That's really nice. expensive. Oh, wow. He's even matched the wheels, too. Oh, it's nice. Moving on. This one's really nice, too. Yeah. These work CR Kai's and the red candy look amazing. They match the delivery. This is pretty cool, too, like VIP. Some Natasha. It's cool. Oh my gosh, new Super Tasha? Hell yeah, Mark V. This actually looks really cool. It's like Midnight Purple, mate. Yeah, that's super cool. Yeah, the wrap kind of gives it this like Midnight Purple look, but then it blends into black at the back. I really dig that. I hope the lighting on the camera does this justice. Very hard to tell. The Suzuki Swift even has some Tasha. That's cool. Yo, a sound van rocked up. I haven't seen one of those here in like almost two years. It's been a while. All these Nissan notes, Nismo notes too. Pretty cool. 180 SX. Yo, this thing's cool. It is absolutely slammed. I love his uh, number plate blocker too. Whoa, that's some interesting over fenders. <laughs> Yeah, that's cool. Very cool for an old crown. Next to an RX-7 too. Super cool. Hey mate, see this car here, this little one? This little red one? It's called a Suzuki Cappuccino. Cappuccino? Yeah. Do you know there's something identical in this car that's in my K-Van? What could it be? They share the exact same thing. Mission? No, the engine. The engine is identical. Wiring loom, ECU, whole thing. Uh, yeah, so a lot of people, they do the same mods to these that you can do to the Suzuki every van. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's such a tiny car, hey. Do you fit in them? Stand next to it. I do not fit in these at all. <laughs> They're so small. You even look huge next to them. 
That's crazy. A couple of nice 350Zs here. What do you think? Getting some inspiration? The wide fenders are a little interesting on this. They match up with the bumpers though. Just a little bit kind of like bulky through here. Huh? No, I think these are these aren't HRs, I don't think. It's hard to tell when they have carbon hoods because the HR hood has um, got this kind of entirely different section in the middle. It's hard to tell. I'm not sure if there's any other th ways that you can look at. Nismo. Yeah, he's put a Nismo uh, badge on it. Sea West Wing on this one. It's so weird to see these here in Japan still. A lot of more people are getting into like American cars these days. Do you know what type of Corvette this is? No. It's a Z06. It did say it there. Yeah, 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 just like the badge. What does Z06 mean? Yeah, it's just the model of car. <laughs> hey, couple of uh, Mark V Supras. I like this wing. This is nice. It's tight. I think the, the rear end just looks weird without the wing in my opinion. Definitely. Oh wow, I just noticed this S15 has a tusher on the side. Oh my gosh, Advent Onis too? Yo, my soul, I love these wheels. They're so dope. I think I've actually seen this one before. I remember that design. Oh, it's like glitter paint black too. It's kind of cool. Look at that. That's nice. Wow, this 34 looks beautiful. Love the wheels. I can't, it's hard to tell on this light. I think it's a dark blue. I don't think it's midnight purple. Carbon hood, looks great. Wow, that's a really nice GTR rear fender conversion for a GTT. So this is a GTT, it's definitely not a GTR. Over fenders on the rear to make it get that wider look. But that is beautiful. In the camera it looks midnight purple. In person the lighting's really hard to tell. It looks dark blue, but it could also just be my eyes tripping. Sunroof model. That's also a dead giveaway that it's a GTT. As well as like the, the three gauge cluster in the top. Seats, interior. But that is beautiful, I love that. That looks amazing. Very clean. This Alteza is pretty nice. The carbon hood looks good on it. T37's in the front. Nice wing, looks good. This FC though, this is clean. Very nice. Nice 32 GTR next to a Hachiroku, Mark II, SDI, couple couple of them actually there. And tonight's a really good turnout. For us just randomly popping in, get some shots and stuff of the K-Van with the underglow. I'm pretty impressed. This FD here looks awesome and it looks like he's got some Dunkin' Donuts on the hood. <laughs> That's awesome. He's catching May dreaming about owning a BRZ or a 8.6. They, they look so good, right? All right, well, get a piggy bank, start saving up some money. Maybe you'll be able to afford one one day. <laughs> I'm practicing for when we have kids. <laughs> Oof, look at this FD that just rolled in. That is tight. Wow. These new Swifts have been growing on me. May, do you like these new Swifts? Yeah, I do. They look cool, right? I think the headlights, I haven't seen one of the new GR86s in person, but I feel like the headlights on these Swifts look similar to them, right? This is maybe the best car for my first Your first car, car, something small? Okay, yeah, I'd agree with that. They're pretty cheap too. Whoa, the Dodge Challenger rolling in. Okay, anyways. There's a really nice Evo, I think it's it's a five or a six. I need to look at the front. I think it's a five. A really nice Evo. Damn, I wish mine looked that good. But I wanted to come up here because it was an RX-8 reversing. There's a sound van here, and there's two actually, I think. And there has not been sound vans here, at least that I've seen for at least like, since COVID started. They stopped coming. Yo, S15. Nice. So, it's kind of cool to see them. They're not playing any music though, which is nice. Whoa. 
This looks kind of fancy, this red one. What's this brand, Daikok? I guess, like, I don't know if it's that they're putting that on there or if that's an actual brand of subwoofer. Does anyone know? Because Daikok, I thought maybe, like, it sounds similar to, like, Daikoku, right? Oh, wow, this one's even got some speakers in there and it's got Daikok on the subs, too. Huh. Interesting. The wheels do look nice on this, though. It really is nice that Daikoku PA is back to its roots and fully pumping again. It's so good. I honestly think it's actually more active than it was before COVID because I feel like people were just so, you know, stuck not being able to leave their house and enjoy all that kind of like car events and stuff like that. And a lot of events are still getting canceled, right? That people just decided to come here and enjoy it more with their friends and stuff. Like there are people set up everywhere with like little chairs and even like little yakiniku barbecue things and just hanging out with their friends and having a good time. It's pretty cool. I think now is a good time to say, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Smash that like button and write us a comment. Tell me what was your favorite car that you saw here today? Mate, I swear I am just seeing 350Zs everywhere now, it's like, right? It's a sign. It's a sign. It's we, gotta, just... we gotta start modding her soon. We gotta make that thing look Mwah. Anyways guys, like I said, smash the like button, write a comment and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hope you're excited for the underglow on the KTR. That's been a long time coming. And uh, hashtag- going to driving school next week. Oh yeah, next week May starts her driving school. So uh, when do you start getting in the car and I can go stalk you on the streets? Oh, I'm not gonna <laughs> tell you that. <laughs> All right guys, I hope you're excited for the KTR. Hashtag, hashtag. 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 Hashtag bring underglow back. Let's do it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, Jamata. Oh.